Cowboy Nation, I had to give a little bit of time before I hit you guys with my thoughts about the 49ers game. I had to allow all the talking heads to get what they had to say out, but best believe I'm back to point out all the excuses that they had for the San Francisco 49ers losing to the Minnesota Vikings. So if you're ready, let's go. Hit that intro. And the only thing else I got to say is, how about them Cowboys? Yeah! Brock Purdy the last two weeks has looked very, very, very regular. And Purdy down the middle and intercepted by Bynum. They're a good team at the end of the day. I know everybody's just in, the world's ending, but they're five and two, bro. Two. They really are five and two. Purdy steps through, floats in his pick, and that's it. I don't think it's time to panic just yet. Purdy slings it, intercepted. Yes. <laughs> Was he right? Shady, I gotta come to you for my lotto <laughs> ticket <laughs> because, um... Oh, we them boys. <laughs> we them boys. The best defense of all time. I'm blaming Dak Prescott. Dak Prescott number four. Not four. Four. There might be times we have a slow start where the defense, we give up ten points. Mm -hmm. That can happen. We can't say they lost a game because they put up ten points. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen, for tuning in to another episode of the Angry Cowboys Fan here on YouTube, the place where you can catch my raw and uncut emotions about the Dallas Cowboys 24-7, 365. And as long as I'm alive and the hypocrisy is spreading, you know it's going to be DC for life. And if you're DC for life, please consider subscribing to the channel and dropping a like on the video because, guys, I got a feeling this is about to get demonetized. But... I've said it before. I even said it when the media wanted to spread it around and make it such a big deal. I've told other 49ers fans, but they didn't want to listen to me. But it always turns around to the Dallas Cowboys and how our quarterback plays. What about Dak? He's better than Dak. Brock Purdy's better than Dak Piscott. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, the Cleveland Browns and the Minnesota Vikings handled business and showed you what Mr. Irrelevant truly is. He's a system quarterback, a step up from game manager, a guy that can get it done with great pieces around him, kind of like they said Dak Prescott was. He's not an elite quarterback like the media would have you believe. He is a guy that can get it done in a good scheme with a great team. 49ers fans act like that's an issue. But in both games that they just played, the clock struck 12 and Brock Purdy turned into a pumpkin. He blew it. Well, let's keep it 100. The Cleveland loss was on the San Francisco 49ers rookie kicker Jake Moody. Brock Purdy did get them in a position to win. I will give flowers where flowers is due. Anyhow, I'm not here to rub their loss in the face of the 49ers fans as if I was wearing a F 49ers shirt or something. Nah. I'm here to point out all the excuses the talking heads give a team that's not America's team. A team that is not always placed under the microscope. A team that is not hated by the four-letter and three-letter networks. How many times did I hear Brock Purdy was without his weapons and his defense didn't play well? In the same breath, I've heard that elite quarterbacks should be able to lift their team to a victory when they're missing their star players or if their defense doesn't show up. I mean, for real, if you don't believe me, listen to this clip that I got for you right here. It's just the offense. You, you, ha you have to be able to perform at a high level when your defense is down. That's what a complete team does. And that's just not what happened yesterday. You have to be able to perform at a high level when your defense is down. That's what a complete team does and that's just not what happened yesterday one could easily think that joy was talking about the 49ers but no she was talking about the dallas cowboys why didn't i hear that same line after the 49ers loss speak went on to say that the 49ers were missing debo samuel and that you can't win without missing your star players but wasn't justin jefferson out for the vikings 
How about Nick Chubb and Deshaun Watson for the Browns? Last time I checked, that was those teams' players, but the team managed to get it done. Unfortunately, the Cowboys did not. We went into the Cardinals game missing our Pro Bowl selected center, Tyler Biotish, our All Pro Pro Bowl future Hall of Fame right guard, and Zach Martin, our two time All Pro Pro Bowler and future Hall of Famer on the left side, offensive tackle Tyron Smith, our Pro Bowler and All Pro corner Trayvon Diggs, but we were held to a higher standard. I understand it was against the winless Arizona Cardinals, but if the Eagles losing to the Jets and the 49ers losing to the Vikings have shown us one thing, it's any given Sunday. Anything can happen. Teams are going to go into these games against the top-rated teams with a point to prove. Every team on our schedule is going to give us their best because beating the Dallas Cowboys will get them praises and adulations from the haters at the four and three letter networks. As you saw in the opening of my video, Speak was jumping for joy. <laughs> no pun intended. When the Cowboys had their first loss, but where was Shady McCoy's glasses when they reported on the 49ers first and second loss? Better yet, what about the Eagles? Nowhere to be found, ladies and gentlemen. It's not fashionable for him to act a fool when anyone but the Cowboys lose. Now I'm going to play you a clip real quick just to show you some more hypocrisy spewing out of the mouths of the commentators just on speak. I haven't gotten the first take yet, but believe me, Cowboy Nation, they're on my list. So let's check it out. And we're going to come back and unpack that raw and uncut. Here we go. Take it away. Yeah. Uh, I mean, eventually Brock Purdy was going to lose a regular season game. Right. That's going to be right, right, right. It, it was eventually, eventually he was going to throw a interception. Yeah, yeah, you know what yeah. I mean? And then, and then after that, there were going to be more interceptions yeah. and maybe a fumble and maybe a bad game. Maybe. So none of this is really shocking to me, nor do I think this is who he really is. He's mm -hmm. going to struggle. Great players struggle. Right. The best, the goats struggle, and and he's he's not looking his best right now. Yes, you would you would hope that your franchise quarterback can overcome not having one or two of your best players. But to Shady's point, the the very best in the game can lose a game without having your guys out there. It's the ultimate team game. You need those pieces. Listen, Joy, I'm going to use your words against you. Great players struggle. The best, the goats struggle, and he's not looking his best right now yes you would hope your franchise quarterback can overcome not having one or two of your best players but to shady's point the very best in the game can lose a game without having your guys out there it's the ultimate team game you need those pieces rewind the clock back to the cowboys game against the cardinals it was all dak prescott's fault not the fact that our franchise quarterback struggled and wasn't looking his best and was missing key pieces to his offense. No, no, it wasn't none of that. It was all on Dak Prescott. And yes, we came out at the beginning of the season and our defense was beating up on the Giants, the Jets, and the Patriots, but we didn't show up against the Cardinals and the 49ers. But Speak was there to rub it in our faces as well. Where's that same energy when it comes to the 49ers? This is just a taste of what I got coming, Cowboy Nation. If these commentators can get up here and give their takes and their harsh critiques on our team, then why can't we return the same energy toward them? This has been your boy, the Angry Cowboys fan. We're on our way to 1,000 subscribers thanks to you guys and Cowboy Nation. So if you enjoyed the content, please drop a like on the video, subscribe to the channel, and tell a friend who got a friend who got a friend who is a Cowboys fan about what we're doing over here. So until next time, Cowboy Nation, this has been your boy, the Angry Cowboys fan. How about them Cowboys? And I'm out. Oh, 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 oh,